Good afternoon, everybody. Or I should say good evening, or maybe good morning, if you are listening in the morning. While I'm where I am speaking from is evening, and it is the Thursday, Thursday the 22nd of October. And I hope that everybody is very well, and then you are having a good week. And I'm just wondering what I see as light on the screen is whether that is the real light. <clears throat> but I hope you can see me. It's quite interesting, actually, sometimes how I would have the this um, inspiration to start talking in the evening, not much in the morning or during the day, but in the evening, and I'd rather speak. Uh, and what came to me was that a few days ago, those of you who know me very well, or just a little bit, you know that um, I'm very, very... Uh, keen on my garden. I really enjoy working outside in my garden and really making my fingers and hands really dirty, uh, digging and trying to grow some vegetables and things like that. So I'm very, very, um, gives me a lot of joy and happiness and peacefulness. And of course, grounding, grounding, being grounded out there. But what I want to say about my garden right now is not what I have harvested, but well, it's, it is partially what I have harvested, what I have har harvested and found was that <clears throat> about three years ago, a little bit more than three years ago, I started composting in, this, in the place where I live right now. I started composting and never ever dug at the bottom of my compost bin just to see what is happening there and what is what everything is becoming of. But I kept putting things continuously over the years and it always left me really mesmerized what was happening really with, with, with all the things I put into my compost bin because it never got overflown. It always found its place. It's always uh, it was always alive. It is always alive because I see all the creepy crawlies and the worms and things like that in that. But I was always curious what is going to happen or what is going to be the, 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 the result of, of this work. And a few days ago, I opened the bottom because I needed to, of course, we have to refresh the garden <clears throat> and the soil. And I was just so, so pleased just to find the soil I made or what was made there at the bottom of the compost bin and I could bucket I think three little bucket size of containers of soil three or four buckets out to the out to the land and while I was doing this it I, I was just so 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 thrilled that one can do, one can make so many different things with our, with our hands. We can cook, we can, we can do our sculpture, we can pray, we can clap, we can do so many things with our hands. We can, we can do craft work, all different things. Make and produce something from little thing to, to create something. And that was the very first time I realized I created soil from all those things, what, what one would really throw away and just kept letting it do its own job, the, the own work. Um, and just the realization that one can make soil is something very, very special. So if you have never ever tried that, if you are patient enough, you might want to consider having a go at doing your own composting and creating your own soil and then being able to put it on on, on, on the plot of little little plot, little land, or little, just a little plot, a pot, a pot where you would grow something. And then, okay, of, of course, you fear that you are recycling something there. So autumn time is really when we harvest things, when we celebrate and, yes, put the seeds in for the next season and the next year ahead. But in that sense, celebrating that um, I have been patient enough to see and to wait what is going to happen with all the composting material. And then it became, it turned into something very, very special that really left me in, in awe of what um, we can do, just composting and then you create your own soil and celebrating it. And you see, it did not happen 
within a within a season or within a year it takes time i don't know really how long it takes or how or what i could have done or should have done with my compost but then it did it did it uh, did its own job what it needed to do it turned itself into something much more usable and valuable so it actually made me reflect in my life how we can start something and then we want to have the result very, very quickly and we are impatient. And then if we don't get the result immediately, then we, are, we either give up, give it up or blame something or somebody else. But then we are not present to that, oh yes, maybe it did not happen in the period of how I anticipated it, but then maybe I should need, I could need, I, I, would, I would need to wait or I could wait a little bit longer to have, to see the result. And then there are things like this in our life and we have to wait a little bit longer, not, not days, not weeks, not months, maybe a couple of years before we get what we need to receive. And only at that point, when we get to that point and we look back and we, that, that is the point when we, receive, when, we, when we realize that actually, yes, that, that's why I needed to wait for so long. If I take it in, if I, if I measure it on my timeline. That's why I needed to wait because it's so very special and that is a time, that is a perfect time to receive what I need to receive, what I needed to receive. And sometimes it happens when we start something, of course, we could have the result within weeks, within days, within weeks, within months, maybe a year. And, and I feel that we need to have that awareness that once we start something, there is, there is a time, there is a perfect time when we need to receive the, the result. And sometimes it comes maybe a little bit earlier, a little bit later, sometimes exactly on, on spot uh, at a time when we expect to receive that. But uh, we need to have that awareness that sometimes we receive the things, what we need when, when the, the time is ripe, when the time is perfect. And maybe not what we, we receive, not, we, not what we want, but what we really need and then at the perfect time. So we just need to remember that. Um, and then if you feel that right now, during this time, you are, or you have already put a lot of effort into something and then you have not seen the result, maybe it is not the time to receive the result. It is not the time to, to um, embrace it. Maybe you've got something else to sort out in your life or something else to experience. And when the time is right, then you will receive what you need to receive. And in the form, when you re need to receive it. And that is a time when we can really celebrate. We need to celebrate and we need to say our thanks for what we are receiving. Because we meant to receive it at the time. And then it could be, if, if you think in our lives, it could be either about a relationship or work situation or, or anything. Or for me, just the soil. Um which was created, it created itself in, the, in my compost bin and waiting for, having waited for over three years, three and a half years to see that uh, magic happening. Um, and you see, if, even though not really, never wanted to, uh, okay, yes, occasionally I peeked, I looked at the bottom because there's a little little latch I can just pull it up and see what is there and I can put it back so occasionally I looked I looked and I did not realize that inside where there is heat inside some wonderful soul was created um, and that it always left me always left me just mesmerized that yes you put things you put things you put the peeling and uh, all kind of, or maybe some cuttings from the from the garden. You put it there, put it on the top, and it just collapsing itself. And then seeing all the creepy crawlies doing their job, and one does not need or did not need to do anything. And maybe we can reflect in our life that sometimes we just don't need to do anything. We just have to have the intention, and we just have to do maybe a little thing from our part, and then just trust and allow the things will happen and turn themselves into something what we need to receive in, in our timeline when it is the perfect time to receive. Um, and that is just such a wonderful, wonderful thing. So what is, what is it teaching us? 
it definitely taught me patience. It definitely taught me something, something so very valuable. And it is, yes, it's not the amount of soil, what I found, it was three, three or four buckets. <laughs> it's not the soil, the, not the amount, but then the, the actual process that this is what is being created. And that wonderful, the wonder of, of nature, it's something very, very deep, deep. Um, and I feel it's very deeply ingrained in us. So it's whether, whether, whether we are making our, creating our own soil or doing something else, we need to have that very deep inner reflection to really appreciate um, that once there is an intention, there will be um, an outcome, there will be a result. Sooner or later, there will be a result um, that we receive it. Um, we are not meant to receive everything at the same time, or not. we are not meant to receive uh, exactly what we want and at the time when we want it. And then as we look around um, in, our, in our time, in our society, or amongst our friends or families, that can cause quite a, quite a lot of hiccups or, or disagreement arguments and all the, the we sense that very very um, low energy conversations and situations and sometimes we find them fi find ourselves within those situations sometimes we we get sucked into sucked into those situations and we just have to have that awareness that yes it is happening and we are either in the center of everything happening, where we cannot be really affected by any of that, or we really draw our steps back, back, and then just observe what is happening there. But there is a fine line how we can shift ourselves and our reality and how we perceive our reality from that what might what what one might call as a three dimensional reality into much higher and much greater and then it takes awareness so that's actually the perfect time to practice our awareness in this changing time so uh, that is a very short story about me doing my bucket buckets of uh, <laughs> celebrating my buckets of uh, soil a few days ago um, Yes, and then it, it it really it really makes it really makes me think that yes, when one can celebrate some the, the, the simplicity, the simplicity of nature, the simplicity of life, and then how powerful that is if we take it that is actually part of our life circle cycle. <laughs> it is so much so much part of us that it is happening. It is so powerful that it is happening without me as a human being there or doing anything. Because the compost, in my example, the composting is happening by itself, just by the leaves, just by the branches and all the, all the, everything in nature just collapsing and finding their restful place. It is doing its own thing without the, the need um, of a human being or doing anything around that so being part of that process I think is very very special so I celebrated that apart from celebrating what I found in my in my garden <laughs> what I could harvest but I I on this occasion I got I feel I got something much 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 deeper and much greater to celebrate there so I I wanted to share this with you and then just the, the invitation is just look around in your life just uh, pause. We need to pause for this, and then for 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 just to notice what we are anticipating, what we are expecting. Whether that ex expectation or anticipation, whether it is coming from your heart or coming from your mind, and how much will or how much mind force or those energies or conversations are attached to, or something. Maybe you can stand back and then say, "Yes, I've got this intention." I put something into, into its moving mode. I started something and then I know I don't need to do much after that. I just have to let it go. I just need to allow the things to unfold. And then I just need to trust 
And when I say need to allow and need to trust, I'd rather take the need out, the word need out, because it also implies that I need to do something. There is an effort behind that. So if I take the word need out, I'm just allowing, I'm just trusting. And then, oh boy, things are turning up at a time and at a place where I really need to turn up. And that is when I'm saying my grace, gratefulness, and when I'm expressing my gratefulness. Okay. So the invitation for you is to to feel it, feel, feel this into your feel, feel it in your life, where or look around and see. Maybe there is something you can shift. Maybe you can raise your awareness. Maybe you can put your focus there, and and then celebrate when you receive something because you meant to receive it at that time, and at that place. So. I think that's quite a, quite an interesting conversation, but at least I, I find it <laughs> find it an interesting conversation. So, thank you very much. I, I, I see that there were there were a few people here listening and watching. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here and thanks for the little hearts because I noticed the little hearts as well. Thank you for those. Um, now I will put something. I still owe you uh, the little poem from my last uh, recording, but. Interestingly, immediately I finished the recording, I put the little poem somewhere so safe, so safely somewhere that I can't find it, so I just have to look for it. <laughs> so but I will be able to type it out for you. Uh, so I need to do that. And then the other thing is, if you are also on Inst Instagram, uh, you can find me there with the same name, the same, same uh, description. And there is also a sign there saying that um, next Saturday, the 31st of October, I'm going to do a 90-minute intuition psychic uh, taster wor workshop. So if you feel that you are psychic, if you have your intuitive abilities and then you have noticed that they are working for you or just working, and then you are curious what else can you do, <laughs> you can do with them, then find the link, uh, sign up, uh, bring a friend, because I am a uh, I'm very curious to see how what you can do, or what not just what you can do, but um, uh, how much awareness or how much allowing, allowing and trusting will be there, will be present, and it's it's playful. It is easy. It is something we all have. And if you are listening to this conversation, it means that you are already, or you have already discovered something in you and then you are just uh, maybe you are just curious what else is there so if you are interested come along find the link send me a, a, an email you can find me at the email is hello at jeanamedium.com you can find the link um, in my bio section and it would be lovely to, lovely to see you and uh, working working with you <laughs> so thank you very much for being here i'm going to bring this little conversation to a close. Thank you for listening. And if you found it interesting or useful, um, please feel free to invite other people and friends to this page or share or like and all, all those interesting things. Uh, or if you have a comment or if you have something similar, uh, a theme or topic what you want to share, you are always welcome to, to write in the comment section um, because it's always, always quite interesting to read. So thank you very much. I'm sending you lots of love, many blessings, and have a gorgeous evening or morning or afternoon or day or week. <laughs> and, see, and speak very, very soon. Lots of love. Bye for now. Thank you very much. Thank you.